Welcome brewers and lab nerds. Today I'm going to go over how to improve the shelf life, colloidal stability and reduce the uh, chill haze in your beer by the use of uh, PVPP and silica gel. You have uh, haze forming uh, precursors in your beer. One is from protein and the other one is from polyphenols. Proteins you get primarily from your um, grain Whereas uh, polyphenols can be both from grain, mostly the husk, and also from um, yeah, hops. If those two mix together, if they're in the wort in the, or in the final beer at high concentrations, they can bind together over time and either cause chill haze, which is a haze that would go away after you heat your beer back up again from zero degrees Celsius, um, or permanent haze if it lasts for a long enough period of time, the, the polyphenols and the proteins will form strong bonds and uh, provide or create permanent haze. So what you want to do is get rid of the precursors from the polyphenols and the um, haze producing protein. And you do that by using PVPP and silica gel. Let's start with PVPP or polyvinyl polypyrrolidine. Uh, what it is, is it's something that has very large surface area and it will allow uh, the um, polyphenols to attach to it. You have uh, some very small polyphenols that are called flavonoids or flavonoids. When the flavonoids uh, polymerize and oxidize, they produce short chain uh, polyphenols called tannoids. These tannoids are capable of bridging across many proteins and uh, forming temporary haze initially when they have a hydrogen bond. That's called reverse, uh, reversible chill haze. Over time you'll have a stronger bond uh, caused by a uh, covalent bond and that's permanent haze. So to reduce the haze, we want to reduce the precursors for polyphenols and uh, the poly precursors for the uh, protein. For the polyphenol side, what we do is we use PVPP, which uh, makes selective um, complexes with the haze-forming polyphenols via strong hydrogen bonds. They uh, settle to the bottom of the tank over time, or you can filter it out using um, uh, Kieselgur or DE, or regeneration PVPP filters. The uh, PVPP can either be purchased as a single use, or one that is reusable. PVPP is allowed under the Reinheitsgebot, uh, as it is not a part of the final product, it is not soluble in water, alcohol, or acids. So it will be completely either settled out or filtered out over time. There are no known uh, hazards associated with uh, Kiesel or PVPP. There's also no labeling required to say that you've used PVPP. And there's no special um, disposal requirements for PVPP. Normally it's thrown away along with the Kieselgur. Some common brand names for uh, PVPP is uh, Polyclar 10, which is a single use for the use of uh, in beer. You have Polyclar VT, which is mostly used in the wine industry. You also have Polyclar Super R, which is a regeneration grade for beer, so you can use it over and over again. And the last one is Polyclair Plus 730, which is a combination of PVPP and silica gel, which is the next subject to be covered. Silica gel is produced from silicate. And uh, what they do is that they dig out the silicate from the ground, then they make it react with sulfuric acid and as it reacts, it produces a uh, surface that has a lot of potholes in it and it's capable of absorbing proteins. 
So we use it in brewing because it's pulling out the selective uh, proteins that are causing haze and it does not reduce the foam stability of the beer.